B. Beautiful. Or else equals theta. Beautiful. Or we could do B A C equals theta. Beautiful. Okay. Do we ever have to wonder what angle this is? No, because it's always a 90 degrees angle. Right? So then the only angles that we will consider theta are always going to be this angle and yeah, that angle. this angle. Okay? Now let's talk about the three parts of the triangle. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, one side is always the... Uh, oh, you don't have to remember the names yet, but just tell me what describes this side. Um, like, it's the longest side. It's the longest side, okay? And that's... I always remember this side because it's opposite. <laughs> good, good, good. So, let's go back to using this angle here as theta, okay? Wait, how do you come up with what equals theta? Why do you just put all the letters together? So, theta is always the one of these two angles, depending on what you're trying to right. define. so it's either angle A or angle B. It's, so, it's either this angle, which is ABC, or mm -hmm. uh, angle CAB. Okay, see Nicole, we learned this. Oh, a, I see what you're saying. We learned this a long time oh, ago. Oh, you're just you're just saying what it is, as opposed to actually finding the degrees. Defining, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. So if this is theta, mm -hmm. then this part here is what? Um. This line here is the opposite. Opposite. So we're gonna write just O. Okay. Opposite. Can okay. Okay. This is fire. <laughs> Fuel fire. Okay. B, B. This side here, you don't have to remember the name, but what letters does it start with? Uh, H. H. And that's Hypot called a hypotenuse. And, a, no. and the side. Oh, I mean A. Okay, but this one's tricky, okay? Just remember, this one is the one right next to it. Okay. Okay, so that's adjacent, okay? 